Hi, I'm Paul Arlington and this is your MPAES training video. So this is our microwave plasma atomic emission spectrometer. I've got my uh, torch installed, it looks like this. Uh, I've got a new spray chamber on. And uh, somebody left the tension on these lines, so I need to change these lines out real quick. We need to release the tension on those things, otherwise they have a memory and they won't flow like they're supposed to. So we're going to change these out real quick. The blue ones, that's what we use for waste. Use this other one for the feed. And we just connect one tubing into the other. It's real simple. So the thing to watch is that you get your top and bottom on the same line. Notice there's five grooves for tubing. So I like to use the last one for the waste. The one closest to the instrument. And then I'm going to put tension to the top. So now I've got that tension on there. We put this arm on there and that's how the peristaltic pump works. Let's go ahead and get this feed line off too. Got these other ones ready to go. These ones are flared, so it's real easy. And so this was our feed tube that goes into our sample. So that would go to the top. bottom, which is what connects here, just to connect to the nebula. So we flow this way. I've got my slot in number three, so I'm going to pull the orange one up, get the tension on. Now I'm going to put this finger on and lock it in. And now we should be ready to go. Let's open up the water our feed line in here, get the waste into the waste container, and now we come over to the software. So close this guy out, then go new from, and we're just choosing this almond one, I think that's who's using it for 125. Let's come to the instrument and status. It's like everything's good to go except the oxygen sensor. So we want to start this purge. It's been sitting for a while and our six pack ran out and so I've got this new cylinder on. Let's open it up. It's about 2000 PSI. You want to open these things up pretty much all the way. And now we're going to start the pump. I'm going to pass pump fast for the draw. And the thing with these, this clear tubing is you want to get a couple little air bubbles in so you can see it. The refractive index uh, change is what lets you see whether it's water or air. So I see I've got good flow. I've got some coming over to the waistline. And so we see these drips coming down. So now I've established a pretty good flow. I'm going to slow my pump down. And I'm going to wait for these drips to come all the way down to closer to the waste container. We need to do this so we have enough back pressure in here so that when we turn the gases on for the, for the plasma, it doesn't blow down. So we're coming under here under plasma. And it's on. Now we can look in here. Why don't you zoom in here? And you should see that torch, that plasma light up. It'll be a deep purple once it's argon. And then uh, it'll introduce the nitrogen, which will make it a little pinker. All right, there we go. We've got it. We can also see it down here in the ground glass joint uh, of the spray chamber. So looking at the spray chamber, if I shine a light on it, you can see we've got this nice mist in there. It's going around and around concentrically, and it's, it's pretty homogenous. Uh, we've got this special uh, one neb nebulizer on here, which is good for stuff that has a lot of solids. We're also using this for coffee analysis in Chem 105. And as you know, coffee has a lot of dissolved salts. All right, we've got the torch on. It needs to warm up for about a half hour. So now we're going to start the timer. And once it gets to about 20 minutes, we're going to switch over from water to our 5% trace metal nitric acid. And then we'll come back and tune the instrument.
All right, so we'll see you here in a minute.